So now I'm going to show you how to use a um, dilation to do certain things with your images. One thing I don't like about where my image is right now is it's really close to the X and the Y axis, which is going to make it hard for me to take a screenshot later. So I'm, I want to move it over here, and I also want it to be a little bit smaller. So I am going to dilate it. Um, basically what I'm going to do is uh, select this tool, which is Dilate Object uh, from Point by Factor. If you're not on that, uh, it's usually one of these choices already. And then you go, if you click on that little arrow, you can select it here at the bottom. Now, I'm going to, what I want to do, the object that I want to move and make smaller, I'm going to highlight that whole thing. And if I want to move it up to the right here, um, I'm going to want to put a point up here. This point will move it about halfway in between here, depending upon um, the ratio that I'm going to put in there. So if I click on this point here, my factor, let's say I'm going to make it about half the size that it is right now. Dilate object by a factor of 0.5, and it's going to put it right in there. It's overlapping right now, but that's okay for what I'm looking for. So now, um, but I don't want the original in here, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, hide this. Um, and if I go back to my select, I'm going to hide as so much of this. I have to be careful. I might have to do this two two different parts here. If I cover a full part of one of those things. It actually will select that. I won't be able to I have to get that other one on the far right later. But I do Command G, I hide that, and then I can do this one separately right here. It'd be even if I'm into the other one a little bit, it's okay as long as I'm not uh, highlighting that whole object. So Command G. Okay, so now I have a new, and I'll even hide this point up here. Command G. All right, so now. Um, that, that helps me when I dilate something, I can uh, also uh, translate it, which is what I did over there. I moved it to another place, but at, by a certain factor, which is the dilation. So now I'm going to highlight, uh, I'm, I'm going to go back to dilate objects, and show you one of the things that's kind of cool that you can do with this. If I highlight the object, then I, I'm going to actually select the same point that's right in the middle of it, and I'm going to try a factor of 0.5. And basically what I'm going to do is take this object and I'm going to put it uh, in the, inside this circle here in a, uh, about a factor of a half. So it's going to be half the size it's going to be inside there. So I can create some cool designs um, by having a design within a design doing that. And I can also make it bigger. I can select, uh, let's say, well now that I put the one on the inside, Sometimes it's helpful to think this through before, which I didn't. Um, now it's going to be very difficult for me to highlight this whole thing without highlighting the one in the middle. Um, it could be kind of cool if I highlight now this whole thing. Get everything, okay. And then if I try another dilation about the middle, let's try a factor of oh, 03 maybe. I'm going to triple the size of it. I don't know. Uh, this will probably take it off the screen here by quite a bit. Um, but you can see that there's uh, many different uh, w um, possibilities that you can create using that dilation tool. It doesn't always have to be right in the middle. It can be to the side. Um, but you use your creativity to decide how you want to use it.